Fans of My Life as a Teenage Robot have been waiting for something, anything to happen in the community. The last episode aired in 2009, almost 10 years ago. Every now and then, rumors start of a My Life as a Teenage Robot movie, or a My Life as a Teenage Robot anime, but nothing actually happens. As of now, there are no plans to bring it back. There's been talk, very tentative talk from Fred about trying to pitch it as a movie. We have had one meaning about that, but that's pretty much gone nowhere. Even the alleged Nicktoons movie, which was expected to have a Jenny cameo, seems to have halted in production completely, if it was real at all. It can be really easy for a fan to lose hope. Thankfully, the most dedicated fans remain, still waiting for something to happen. On July 14th, 2014, five years after the show aired its last episode, a teaser trailer for a My Life as a Teenage Robot reboot appeared on YouTube. This video was completely fan-made, but the creator behind it, Nathan Altenburn, was determined to make a fourth and fifth season. These would act as a possible non-canon ending which would finally give fans some closure. He had a strong background in video production, and his LEGO Star Wars fan animations were extremely impressive. But why exactly was he rebooting a cartoon? When Nathan explained his reason behind starting the project, he said this. Back in early 2013, I decided that the world had seen enough cancellations of television hits without any conclusions whatsoever to already established story arcs, specifically in the animation category. There were too many amazing cartoons abandoned and left to die by their own networks, and this needed to be solved. While I couldn't save them all, I knew I could go for at least one. With that in mind, I reviewed multiple cartoons over the course of several months as candidates to receive the grand treatment of a rebooted conclusion. These cartoons had to be cancelled, no legitimate series finale, and included but were not limited to Invader Zim, American Dragon Jake Long, and even the Spectacular Spider-Man. However, one particular series stood out proudly among the crowd. My Life as a Teenage Robot. While arguably not the best cartoon overall, this particular series definitely suffered the worst with poor advertising, limited and inconsistent time slots, non-sequential airing of episodes, years between seasons that were basically sitting in storage completed, and even dethroning by its own network's hand in supposedly fan-driven contests. With its creative storylines, beautiful yet simple art styles, sophisticated humor, and potential for high drama, the story of Jenny Wakeman was an easy pick to be given the rebooted conclusion of two additional seasons. Nathan had a very admirable motive behind starting this project, one that I think we can all relate to. Despite his hard work on the trailer, some people criticized it for having shaky animation. They were assured that the final product would look much more professional. Shaky animation or not, the style of My Life as a Teenage Robot was successfully replicated, and nobody could argue with that. Burning questions like, will Jenny start dating Sheldon or Brad, or what will happen to Melody, could finally be answered. Fans were able to sign up to contribute to various roles on the project. These included roles involved in voice acting, scripting, storyboarding, writing, character design, animation, composing, and more. Naturally, everyone was incredibly excited for this project to be completed, and since fans were able to contribute to the production, there was a huge sense of community emanating from it, something that the community didn't really feel since the days of the Teenage Roblog. Later in July, the channel uploaded another video, this time of a walk cycle, which was generally praised by fans. As 2014 went on, more videos were published, one of which was a playthrough of My Life as a Teenage Robot Techno Tennis, an HD remaster of the My Life as a Teenage Robot pilot, My Neighbor was a Teenage Robot, was also posted, which is by far the highest quality version of it. The first update video regarding the reboot project was posted in August, which announced two things. Fans who wanted to keep up with the project, even if they weren't a part of the main team, could now join the discussion on the project's forums. Here they can give ideas, post fan art, roleplay, anything really. As of January 2019, there have been over 76,000 posts on these forums. The video also announced that the process of accepting auditions was about to start, meaning that serious production was about to begin. The next video wouldn't be posted in 2015, where a major update was made. The entire fourth season of My Life as a Teenage Robot was planned out. A community-written episode would also be made, which meant that a lucky fan could get their idea made into an episode. Fanfiction writers went insane over this idea. 
The community written episode was eventually determined, and you can now view the episode synopsis on the My Life as a Teenage Robot rebooted website, along with most of the synopses of the rest of Season 4. Later that year, Nathan posted a PSA video, which basically repeated his reasons for taking the project on, while also advertising the roles he wanted to fill. This video was also the first time that many fans got to see Nathan's face, but it certainly wouldn't be the last time either. That wasn't what was notable about the video though, not at all. At the very end, there's a scene where Jenny attacks Nathan and it's animated flawlessly. Everything had been perfected at this point. My hype definitely peaked around this point. Unfortunately, the updates slowed down at this point, and weren't featured on YouTube again for almost a year. They were very clearly hard at work, and they shifted their focus away from YouTube for a while. While this could be really concerning to fans, I thought it was a sign that everything was coming into place. During this period of stagnation, Rob Renzetti revealed that he's been following the project from afar. And uh, do, you, uh, do you know of the, uh, I think there's something on YouTube about a team of animators that are trying to reboot it? Uh, did you know about yeah, that? Yeah, there, there's, there, there's, there's talk in, in a movement of fans to do some fan episodes. They're calling them Season 4 and Season 5. I know about that. I, I, I check in with them, meaning I check their website every once in a while. I have nothing to do with it. I wouldn't want to have anything to do with it. I feel like if fans are going to make episodes, they should go ahead and make those episodes. Um, I'll be curious to see what they come up with, but uh, as far as that goes, um, I kind of i am taking a very hands-off approach. Uh, I'm I'm happy. It's it's a huge compliment to me and to the show that people are interested enough to want to make more episodes on their own. So it warms my heart. But uh, beyond that, I haven't. There's nothing I know about it besides that. Mm. That was when it hit me that we were finally getting two more seasons to My Life as a Teenage Robot. After some build-up, the rebooted team finally released another video in January of 2016. It was a Q&A video, something which everyone was very interested in seeing at the time. It was the first shot that fans of the YouTube channel who weren't on the forums had to properly ask questions to the team. I won't go over everything mentioned in the video for the sake of time, but I'll definitely go over all the important aspects of it. Nathan starts the video explaining why such a large amount of time passed without releasing proper updates, seeing that it was due to everyone being busy and technical issues. Production was also sluggish due to those problems. As a 15-year-old pessimist, I once interpreted this as him saying, yeah, we didn't do anything else last year, but as an adult, I'm well aware that people get busy and they did everything they could. One fan asked him if the intro would be the same as the original. Obviously, they just couldn't copy and paste the intro or any elements from it. Instead, they're planning on using the same lyrics, with all the instrumentals being recreated to the best of their abilities. The animation will be noticeably different, though. They also reaffirm that they're working on scripts, and they haven't started the animation process yet. Many people knew this, and it's kind of obvious, but they confirmed that the Reboot Project is a non-profit project, powered completely by passion. I found it funny that they accidentally compared the original series to Teen Titans Go, and their project to Teen Titans. Okay, look at it this way. You're kind of upgrading from Teen Titans Go to Teen Titans. Enough said. I know that they were referring to the tone, but I still found it funny. While they answered a few more questions in this video, and we definitely recommend that you watch it in its entirety if you're interested, they asked one question which we still don't know the actual answer to. XJ126 asks, Do you know when you will release the first episode? Well, we don't know when exactly we'll be releasing the show, however we do plan for a 2016 to 2018 release date. I'd be willing to bet 2017. Wait a minute. It's 2019. Oh wait, that's no big deal. I'm sure that it's coming out soon. It's easy to get pessimistic thoughts while waiting, especially since we've been waiting for five years to see more information. But unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait. Call me delusional, but I have full faith in Nathan. He's been working on this non-stop for years. Every single month, he has something new to show in a live stream. He's very optimistic. Hell, if he can't make this reboot, I'd argue that nobody can. He's perfect for this job. His team have proven themselves to be extremely capable, and I firmly believe that they will accomplish their goal. The members of the My Life as a Teenage Robot fanbase on Facebook seem to agree with me too. Everyone thinks that the project will eventually get finished, although nobody seems to know exactly when it will be finished. And honestly, we have no way to know when it will be. In 2016, I predicted they straight up wouldn't be able to get a voice actress for Vexus. In 2018, they found one, proving me wrong, and they hired an extremely talented voice actor. It's not like they haven't released new animations either. 
The Kilgore casting call which they released last year was honestly perfect. They even managed to get a voice actor who sounds exactly like him. Nathan allowed us to interview him two years ago, and since then, he's completely convinced me that this will happen, and I still completely believe in his movement. Yeah, it's gonna take a while, but it's not like we're gonna get official new episodes. Who cares if we have to wait? It's happening. They're still revealing new characters and other production details in their streams, so while we wait, we are completely in the dark about the reboots. They even answer questions, so don't be shy guys, ask a question in their next stream and say hi for us. I think we should all look up to Nathan, no matter what fandom you belong to. He has proven that if you have a dream, no matter how big it is, you can start a movement. So on behalf of the My Life as a Teenage Robot community, I'd like to thank you, not just for bringing back an old cartoon, but for reviving our childhoods. This has been your narrator, Draven Landau. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a rating. If you want to reach us, leave a comment. Or check out our other platforms. Links are in the description.